Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas. About a month ago, I took a large Fresnel lens and I put borosilicate glass and two wood screws, melted them together with concentrated sunlight. Temperatures were exceeding 2700 degrees Fahrenheit, very, very hot, probably closer to 3000 degrees. It took a long time to thoroughly mix this together. I was not starting with glass powder or metal filings. It was totally solid materials. But I came up with this. And after an hour of melting this, I did the annealing process, which I showed you in a previous video, where you lower the jack stand that I was using, widen the focal point, allow the material to slowly cool down. And I waited a month. The reason that I did that, previous times that I mixed steel with glass together, they fell apart. That's because I didn't thoroughly mix them. And after a month, this held together really good. This material, mixed material, not saying we created anything new, I'm just saying it's very interesting. It is totally magnetic. So if you take a rare earth magnet and you put it near it, it sticks very easily. The pieces, little pieces that broke off do too. So it is very, very magnetic. If I take this metal detector pointer, which is very sensitive, run it over, say, a wood screw or even these rear earth magnets, it goes crazy. It detects them right away. This material, I can take that metal detector pointer and put it right up against it and nothing happens. It doesn't even recognize it, which is really interesting considering that there are two wood screws melted in there. The other interesting thing is that if I take a meter like this to check its conductivity, if I put it across the wood screw, which is melted into this material, it goes, it lets you know that it's conductive. This material does not appear to be conductive. Now that would be pretty easy to do if I had started with something like say crushed glass and metal filings, which I did not, they were solids. Because you could easily encapsulate the glass around the steel, sort of like melting a marble over a BB. It's not going to be conductive because the glass is insulating it, but this is thoroughly mixed together. If you take a pair of pliers and crush it to the best of your ability into a fine powder, every bit of the material is picked up by the magnet. There's nothing left behind. So it's not a matter of that there is glass here and metal here. Everything is picked up. It mixed very good. This material is very interesting because of everything that I just told you, but I'm curious what you guys think of this. Please put a comment in the section below. And if you want a little sample of this, I could probably break something off for you to test it and see what's going on. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.